Tonight, we are celebrating the 30th birthday of Melbourne Organise. We are celebrating it as a community because that's what we do. We are celebrating it with music, poetry, dancing, food and drinks. Although I'm not a founder of Migrants Organize, it just so happened that I claimed asylum in the same week Migrants Organize was founded. In 1993, there were a number of conflicts going on around the world and people were arriving to London seeking protection from Bosnia, Somalia, Eritrea, Ethiopia. And they were going straight from the airport to North Kensington and there was nothing for them. So they started self-organizing and people were meeting in their living rooms. I remember our chairwoman, she was meeting people in her living room and trying to figure out what to do. And that's how Migrants Organize came about. It was then called Migrants and Refugee Communities Forum. And then it grew into um, a supporting organization, advice giving organization, capacity building organization. And then over the years, we expanded and became Migrants Organized. And we now have a massive service to people who need advice and complex support. And we also organize to challenge systemic and structural. Hostile environment is the most egregious form of um, exclusion and dehumanization of people essentially like me, uh, who are now no longer able to work or study or get benefits. They're forced in destitution, which makes it more difficult for us in terms of global picture, but it's also great that people are now self-organizing and using their agency and using their power and it's, that's what we've been celebrating tonight on our 30th anniversary. The Migrant Organised, it's like home for me. And the reason for that is when I joined Migrant Organised as a volunteer, um, I was in my darkest time in terms of mental health, in terms of my life. I was in silent system. Being in migrants and volunteering gave me again purpose to leave and kind of enable me and bring up the all things I have, skills I have. The person I am right now, partially because of Wagon Organize, so that's why I'm here. I was a really shy kid when I was growing up. I wasn't like as confident, then I became talkative. The poetry group. We would read poetry, write poetry, learn how to speak like, more confidently, like something that's invaluable to me. We stand united, togetherness, time spent with those you love. You must all stand up for people who have a voice, but who cannot use it. We are all equal. This is where I belong, on Earth, our planet Earth. That's where I first discovered that my voice isn't something that I should be like silenced with, something I should use to speak up. My message to movement is never lose hope. I mean, this is one of the things I learned in my nervous as well. That kind of community togetherness ignite the fire inside every individual coming and knock the door and coming inside this family. My nervous accept you with open arms, which is quite valuable. I wish could be what it means to be free. Come on now. The best message is, is to, to have hope, is not to give up. Things can be very, very rough, can be very difficult, but you can choose to give up and that is not going to achieve anything. Actually, it's going to destroy you and it's going to put you down. So when you have hope, you keep trying. There's a lot of people who would love to help you and support you and when you get that help and support you can achieve unbelievable things things that you won't ever imagine that you can actually reach and and and, and be able to achieve so don't give up the hope is there and you should reach it 
I'm in the awe of our members who are actually making it with so many obstacles. And what the hostile environment is doing is dehumanizing and desensitizing people, but it's also mobilizing people. And that's what is a great thing about Migrants Organized and us coming together is to see that mobilization, to see that goodwill, and to see that power and resilience in people. And it just makes me hopeful that we're actually going to win and we will end hostile environment. This is what we got.